should be large enough to hold everything. Everything, all the people. There must be a hundred of them. I will work like the spider I saw this morning. These foreign mercenaries and their red tunics. It's Michael Gibson who instigated this whole project because he saw my movie in Paris. Actually, the film was born in Paris. So we are at the birthplace of this movie. You made me realize that because uh, I was showing here, uh, I think seven or six years ago, a movie called Angelus. And uh, Michael Gibson saw this movie and wrote a very good review. And he wrote that I have a Broglian mind in this. And he sent me his book called The Mill and the Cross. And I read this book and I, it was so beautifully written that I decided, I mean, I got the images right of, the, of this book and I saw a film there and I met with Michael and I told him I want to make a movie and he said, documentary. I said, no, 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 feature film. I said, you must be crazy. You don't make a feature film from the art essay. Uh, but then after a while he said that the gentlemen, real gentlemen do the impossible. It's a very symbolic painting. Uh, it's one of the best of Bruegel paintings and uh, in terms of the uh, philosophy that it contains, it's one of the richest apart from the fall of Icarus. Uh, Bruegel is a fantastic painter, he's a fine, fantastic colorist and compositionist, but at the same time uh, he is a philosopher, he is a very wise person. I mean, he decides to paint very famous characters like Icarus and Jesus Christ, and yet you look at the painting and you don't see them. Any other painter would, would paint these people up front, uh, in, in foreground, in a very visible place. In Bruegel you don't see them, you see the landscape, you see the rest of the world and this is so truthful. It's when those things were happening, uh, the world didn't care about it and nobody noticed what was going on. The first and foremost was the philosophical point of view. That was the most interesting. I wanted to meet Bruegel and I wanted to talk with Bruegel. I wanted to, to sit with him and play the game of chess. And uh, obviously I realized I'm going to his house. So I would like to do it in the visual world that is his world. I would like to retain his aesthetics in the cinema. And uh, it's very strange because Bruegel on one hand is realistic, is very realistic, his depiction of costumes, of objects is so precise that you can only do the blow up from the reproductions and give it to a tailor and he will do a costume like Bruegel costume because it's so well painted and so realistic. But when it comes to the landscape, he is a complete surreal landscape painter. This landscape doesn't exist. He lived in a country as flat as this table and uh, he painted rocks and mountains and hills and what have you. And the way he painted this landscape, when I painted over the characters on a reproduction, when I painted the people over and I saw, I had a clear image of the landscape. My eyes were going like this because I couldn't focus and I realized that this landscape is something strange about it and we analyzed it with the computer and we discovered this landscape 
has seven different perspectives and perspectives that contradict each other. So the perspective are from right, from left, from above and from below at the same time. It's magic. It's, it's really unusual. It's something I haven't seen before. And it allows him to put the people in such a way that he has 500 people in the painting, yet you see everybody. Only time could be we stayed if it had only brought to a stop. was easy. They knew my art and they came and uh, they wanted to work with me, I wanted to work with them, it was easy. And they also are very uh, sensitive people like Charlotte Rampling, she's a great artist herself. I think Rutger and Michael York are, are great actors, I mean, they wanted to do something which is more like on the art art side than the commercial side. Obvious. <laughs> because it's only a painting. Somebody told me, you know, uh, look, there's so many other paintings on the walls and every other painting is a story. Thank you. You're welcome. These foreign mercenaries in their red tunics are here to do the bidding of their Spanish masters who lord it over us. Look at the mother of the condemned man. 